In the early years of the 20th century, this world was being watched closely by intelligences greater than men, yet as more and more so. We know now that as human beings visit themselves about their very, very third, they were scrutinized and studied. Perhaps almost so narrowly as a man with a microscope might scrutinize the transient creatures, swarm and multiply in a drop of water. With infinite conflict, people went to and fro over the earth about their little affairs, serene in the assurance of their dominion over this small, spinning, fragment of solar driftwood, which by chance or design, man has inherited out of the dark mystery of time and space. Yet across an immense ethereal gulf, minds that are to our minds, as ours as the beast beat in the jungle, Intellect, vast, cool, and unsympathetic, regarded this earth with envious eyes, and slowly and surely threw their plans against it. In the 39th year of the 20th century came the great dissolution. Near the end of October, business is better. War scare was over. More men were back at work. Sales were picking up. This particular evening, October 30th, Crosby Service estimated that 32 million people listening in on radio.
people around you. Get acquainted. Have a smoke. Uh, to get back to the, uh, the one that I've received, you know, take it with how many, however many grains of salt you wish. That's the brown answer that you can circulate around this. These not specifically too good. Uh, it's suggested that you can stay away from that.
dice. Right. Gosh.